Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the refrigerator's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the LG refrigerator water valve assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water valve assembly. The water valve assembly is what lets water into the refrigerator. The main reason you be changing it out is that the solenoid's gone bad, you're not getting any water, or the flow meter has gone bad, or the body is cracked and damaged, you're getting water leaking on the floor, or even though the solenoid is closed, there's a little bit of water seeping through and your ice maker is freezing up. In order to change the part, we have to go to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're on back, we're going to take the water line off the water valve. You want to make sure you throw a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Once you have that down, we're going to use a half inch wrench to take the water line off. Once you have the water line disconnected, you can just set it out of the way. With the water line out of the way, we can take the access cover off the back. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws that hold it to the refrigerator. Once you take all the screws off, you can set the access cover aside. Anytime you have the access cover off the refrigerator, you want to take the time to clean everything up in here. You want to be very careful of all the copper lines, especially the smaller ones over by the compressor. If you damage any of those, you're going to have to have the refrigerator repaired. Now we can take the water valve off the frame. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take the screw out. Once you have the screw out, we can grab the water valve and pull it off the frame and then kind of twist it around so we can disconnect the wires and take the water line off. Your water valve may look a little bit different. These replace some dual water valves so you may have some extra water lines to take off but they're all taken off the same way. Before we take the water lines off we'll put the towel back down to catch any water that may come out and then we have to take the locking tabs off the valve so we can release the collars to pull the water lines out. All you have to do is press these from the back side and once you get them to the front side you can just grab it and pull it off. Once you have the locking tab out you can take a 3 inch wrench and press up on the collar to unlock it and then we can pull the water line out. Once you have the water line out you can just set it aside and then we can pull the valve out and disconnect the wire harnesses. In order to disconnect the wiring harnesses, we're going to reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and release the locking tabs. Once you have the tab released, you can carefully pull the wire harnesses off the block. If you have the flow meter on your style, you're going to have to reach in and disconnect the wiring harness for the flow meter. Now that you have the wire harness disconnected, you can pull the water valve assembly out of the refrigerator. Here's the old water valve assembly. Next to the new one, if you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Like we said earlier, this valve can take the place of some old dual valves. And you can see that they've redesigned the wiring harnesses from a dual harness to the single harness. And it also comes with a flow meter for the models that use it. If your model is like ours and doesn't use the flow meter, we're going to have to take it off. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take off this upper screw and slide the bracket over to the side. Once you have the screw out, we can turn the water valve over and then we're going to use our wire cutters to cut the zip tie. Then we can take the locking tab off that locks the flow meter in. Same as when we took the one off earlier, you just want to get behind it and lift it out. Once you have it out, we can take the 3 inch wrench and get in between the locking collar and push it towards the water valve so we can pull the flow meter off. Once you have the flow meter off, we can set it aside. And the last thing we have to take off is the little black protective cap that protects the water inlet line. 
Once you have the black cap removed, we can put the water valve assembly into the refrigerator. To put the water valve in, we're going to first hook up the wiring harness. Remember, it's only a single harness now, but it goes in the same two slots as the old one. You can't even put it in the other one. It can only go in this one. So all you have to do is push up and make sure it locks into place. Once you have that one locked in, if you have the water flow meter, now you can hook that one up. Once you have all the wiring harnesses connected, we can put the water line in. To put the water line in, we're going to line it up the same way we took it out. You have to press it in so it bottoms out and gets a good seal. Once you have it all the way in there, we can put the locking collar in there so it doesn't come out accidentally. All you have to do is line that up and push it on. Once you have it in place, then we can rotate the water valve assembly back over and line it up with the opening in the side wall we're going to put the screw in. And you want to make sure that the water line goes down into the tray and then comes up through the back. Once you have everything lined up, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in. Now that we have the new water valve mounted to the frame, we can put the access cover back on. In order to put the access cover on, at the bottom there's a couple locking tabs that hook onto the body. So you want to make sure that those are in place. And once you have that lined up and over the frame, we can lift up the access cover and put the screws in. Now that we have the access cover installed, we can reconnect the water line. All you have to do is thread it onto the new valve. And we're going to use our half inch wrench to tighten it down so we get a nice tight seal and don't get any leaks. Once you have it tightened down, you can plug the refrigerator back in, turn the water back on, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.